After weeks of preparation, it was time for the real thing on Sunday as the London Marathon got underway on a thankfully bright and balmy day in the English capital. And as always, there was a smattering of familiar faces among the average 50,000 participants running the epic route for their respective charity. Getting involved as the event kicked off in Blackie, actress Ruth Wilson was joined by TV presenter Jenny Falconer and former Olympian Dame Kelly Holmes on the starting line. Wilson, perhaps best known for her role in TV drama Luther, is following in her father Nigel's footsteps who participated in the inaugural London Marathon in 1981. The actress is racing on behalf of Alzheimer's Research UK following Nigel's diagnosis with the degenerative condition and admits she has no chance of beating his impressive time of 3 hours and 15 minutes. There's zero chance of us getting anywhere near Dad's time, but he will be in our hearts and driving us towards the finish line, she told The Standard. While the London Marathon will be the toughest physical challenge of our lives, we're determined to do everything we can to support Alzheimer's Research UK and the amazing work they do. I've been astounded by people's support for our fundraising. This run is for Dad, but also for anyone who has been through a similar journey with their loved one. Research is our best hope of overcoming dementia and we're proud to play our part. Other famous faces include 20 MPs and peers, the most in the event's history, including Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. DJ and television presenter was also in attendance alongside his wife, Natasha Shishmanian, while newsreader Sophie Railworth was also seen on the starting line. Romish Ranganathan has challenged himself to run the London Marathon in aid of mental health charity Calm. The BAFTA Award winner has been a patron of the charity since October 2023 after struggling with his own mental health himself. Sharing his training with his followers over on Instagram before Sunday's main event, he said, I said I'd never run a marathon but here I am. I'm not sure where I'd be today if I didn't get help when I hit rock bottom. In fact, I don't know if I'd be here at all. So, I want to help to make sure more people know about Calm's life-saving services as well as raising as much money as I can. Miles of road closures are in place across the city with security railings lined the 26.2-mile route, with police lining the roads amid the threat of disruption from protesters. There was 30 seconds of applause held before the race begins in memory of last year's elite men's race winner Kelvin Kiptum, who died in a car accident in February at the age of 24. He set a new London Marathon record of two hours, one minute and 25 seconds last year with his third win, and set a new world record of two hours and 35 seconds in Chicago in October. Those taking part will be treated to balmy weather of 12 degrees Celsius on a dry and bright day as they take on the mammoth task. Police are on standby amid a threat of potential protests from pro-Palestine and Israel demonstrators, with bosses of the event urging them not to disrupt the marathon and focus on coexistence and togetherness. Previously, the marathon, which is one of the largest in the world, has been threatened with protests in the past, with Just Stop Oil saying last year it would never rule out anything. Bosses at the event say measures are in place to protect participants and prevent potential protests. Last week, London Marathon director Hugh Brasher said, What we've always tried to do is bring people together. Coexistence and togetherness is what the London Marathon is all about. And we hope that message will resonate with anyone who thinks it is a good thing to disrupt the race, because it isn't. All four winners of the elite races will receive £44,000 with the runner-up receiving £24,000 and third place £18,000. David Weir, who will be racing his 25th consecutive London Marathon on Sunday and has won eight times, said he had not expected the change to happen in his lifetime.